Good morning, it is 6.45 in the morning. Um, I'm about to head to the airport right now to go on tour with Anna Huang. <laughs> Seems to hold me like you do. Mm -hmm. Hello, how are we doing? So it is my back hurts. Oh, what time is it? I'm in the hotel room. Um, it is 3:21 p.m. Anna and I are about to head to the Ripped Bodice. Um, well, actually, so I landed at like 9:40 this morning. Then I caught up with one of my good friends um, at like. 10 to 11 while I waited for Anna to land and I landed at 11 so then I met her at the airport but then I met her at the hotel and we kind of spent the first couple of hours together then we went and got lunch we had sushi and then now we're headed to Rip Bottas to go sign copies then we're hanging out a little bit then we've got the sunny tonight at Bean and the Grove so I just finished putting my makeup on because I had no makeup this morning although the lighting in this hotel room looks a lot worse on camera than it does in person because I look nice and tan in person I look sickly in the viewfinder right now um but i also like curled my hair this morning before i left so my hair's still fine for tonight which is good um because otherwise that would suck so curled this morning and it's dropping but it's still like fine maybe i should recurl it a little bit normally over the time um and yeah so that's how today's going so far she had her signing last night at Chicago, so this is the second stop. Um, I'm excited to kind of see what it's like tonight because it'll kind of tell me how the rest of the event's going to go. I have like stickers for the event tonight, which is really fun. So I've got a bunch of Kings of Sin stickers right here, and then I've got a bunch of gold Sharpies too. Um, and yeah, I'm dressed pretty, pretty cute for the event. I mean, this is what I wore on the airplane, so I'm just wearing the same outfit for tonight. That is my bag full of shit. Um, all these are the shoes that I'm wearing as well. And yeah, I have my books here with me, my own books, plus Anna's King of Greed. If you haven't seen the Walmart edition, this was so much fun to design and create because like I got to work and do all the art with the artists in it and they were like, I'll show you, like this is my favorite one is right here. These are my favorite arts. This one right here is like my favorite one that I did for this. My books are here, Kindle. I'm currently reading a um, arc of The Deer and the Dragon by Piper CJ. So I can't talk about that because this comes out in March. So I'm reading this just for work. So I don't really talk about workbooks on here. But I am actually really enjoying it. It's like an urban fae fantasy. And it's really cool. It's my first time reading from Piper CJ too. And it's like, it's very cool. I can't say anything because it comes out in March. I don't want to spoil shit. But the description is online for the book. It has a really dope cover. But it's like this girl who's like an author and this entire time she's thought that the guy that she is like this figment of her imagination it turns out the figment of her imagination is actually a real guy and he's actually the fae prince of hell and he's just gone missing and so now like the nordic gods have come to her to be like hey he's missing what did you do <laughs> and it's really cool so it's not like spicy or anything well actually no it's a little spicy but like only like a one um but if you like fantasy books you'll definitely like this so reading that, and then I think after this, I'm going to read Brimstone by Sophie Lark, finally. So, okay, I need to find out what Anna's doing before we're late for the Rift Bodice, so. Mm. So wonderful, a star could never shine as bright as you. Mm -hmm. Shine as bright as you. Even the dark days still see light, even the birds still sing at night. Every word just comes out right when I'm with you, with you. It's behind the scenes picking a snack at Trader Joe's for the signing. What is Anna gonna pick today? Not pumpkin. <laughs> okay, Anna ended up picking her snack and it is? Popcorn. <laughs> we love it. Okay, now we're on our way to the, the Grove and I'm so shiny and that's great. You're glowing. I'm, yeah, I'm the sun right now. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I feel when you walk in the room. Okay, so it is 11 p.m. now. I'm in back in the hotel room after the event, which is really fun, but I'm tired now. And our next flight tomorrow morning leaves at 7.55 a.m. So we're getting to the airport at 6.30, but the Ubers have been 
The Ubers have been such a nightmare this week for some weird reason. Like, every single Uber I've tried to get today, oh my god, my hair. Every single Uber I've tried to get today has, like, just, I'm sitting there and it's like, finalizing your ride and finding you an Uber. And then I'm, like, sitting there for, like, 15 minutes waiting for it to finalize and pick a fucking Uber. I, I like, I, I, I cancelled, like, five Ubers today. It's ridiculous. So at 6 a.m. tomorrow, I'm going to start looking at Ubers to get to LAX just because I'm worried it's going to be the same situation where, like, the nearest Uber is 30 minutes away. And I'm like, why? Why? So that's going to be me tomorrow morning. But we get to Denver at, like, 12. I think it's, like, almost 12-ish. So we'll check into the hotel, have lunch. And then we have to drive all the way to Fort Collins for the event so that's like one to two hours away like it's far so that's gonna be interesting because like i'm i'm really curious like anna and i are making bets on how much we think that uber is gonna cost to get from denver to fort collins i have no clue mildly terrified but also curious so yes that's that's tomorrow and then just keep on keep on keeping on i'm gonna stop this now because i'm so tired and i'll keep you guys posted Good morning. It is 6.21 a.m. Um, my luggage is there. The backpack is here. I'm literally just putting on my shoes right now so we can head to the airport. Our flight is takes off at 7.55 a.m. and we get in at like 12. I did not sleep at all last night. I don't know why. I just like could not fall asleep for the life of me and I was just like so wired. Granted I did have coffee yesterday and I don't actually drink coffee at all really so I had like a cold brew in the morning and then I had this really nice um ginger snap latte in the afternoon and I think maybe that could be what it is that or I'm just like super wired at the moment. Oh and I just texted me what she's saying. All right I'm gonna pop off to the airport and I'll catch you guys up once I land in Denver. Hello, okay, so it is 3.30, almost 3.30 p, almost, no, almost 4.30 p.m. I'm in Denver. This is my hotel room, <laughs> if anyone's curious. Um, basically, Anna and I landed, we, the hotel room wasn't ready, so we actually ended up going out to lunch, stayed at lunch for like two and a half hours. Um, then we got back here, and we're about to leave to head to Denver, no, tend to Fort Collins, so it's like an hour and 15 minute drive, which is kind of gross. Um, but I did finish doing the dragon by Papa CJ and loved it. Oh my god, I can't say anything because like spoilers. Um, but I think I'm going to pick up maybe, since it's like an hour drive, I think maybe Grimstone or something. I don't know. I'll, I'll let you guys know once I get back tonight which one I picked and which one I read. Um, but I'm excited. And then tomorrow we fly out to Miami, so. Oh, we shall see. But this is my outfit for today. Very nice, very nice. Um, that's the popcorn still. And yeah. <laughs> it is... 557 and we have the event at six. How long do you think it's gonna go until? Um two and a half hours just because I am going off how long it took me yesterday. Okay, two and a half. Two and a half. Can I beat it? What, Can what, I do it in two? What if it takes like what if we're here and it's like six hours later and we're like Stop what happened? I'm not gonna drink sauce, I'm not gonna Stop drink sauce. Stop it. Why would you say that? <laughs> this is the sign in Italian that's like to not jinx. <laughs> we'll see. So you're wearing a very pretty dress today. Am I gonna go? Good morning. It is like 7:20 a.m. Um. Oh my god. Um. My hair is fine because we land. I'm um, literally like only an hour and a bit before the signing today because of the time zone difference. I already did my hair, my makeup, and everything. This is not official. I got the clips in just so my bangs stay nice. But look. Yo, it is so foggy out. You can't even see anything. <gasps> oh, that's nuts. It's definitely like freezing cold outside and I'm not appropriately ready for this weather. This is why I don't live anywhere cold because that is gross. Um, yeah, so the signing ended at like 8.08 .08 last night. So actually Anna signed even quicker, <laughs> which she's super excited about. But um, yeah, I didn't read anything. Just kind of chilled, kind of worked, did some extra work after work last night, but today off to Miami and then we'll see how things keep going. I'm excited. Today's fit. I got my black pants on and yeah, that's kind of it. I'm going to read um, Grimston on the airplane because I didn't get to read any of it yesterday on the way to and from Fort Collins because Anna and I just chatted and chilled the whole way. So yes, big things. God, it's going to be a long week because you know, life, 
but all right love you guys bye it is 3 37 in the morning <laughs> is it really no you're gonna be shitting me no no it is look at that 3 37 a.m um because i'm in eastern time right now can i wonder if i can this be bad lighting i'm literally putting you guys on top of the light here or whatever um oh that's awful so basically it is 3 37 in the morning i'm uploading tomorrow's vlog which is like today's vlog right now and it says it's two percent uploaded and it's going to take two hours and 48 minutes to upload let's see if it's 3 37 in the morning my flight back to vegas is let me guess the math I ain't got a math here is it yeah, I gotta leave here at 7 a.m. Um, to make it to the airport in time because my flat boards at 8:20 in the morning. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Obviously, this lighting is shit because I'm in the hotel room. But fun fact, um, I'm on the elite level of this Miami Hampton Inn. Um, so today we landed and it was like 4 p.m. as you guys know, but, but there was actually a septic tank that like crashed or something here in Miami and so there's like a lot of traffic to the Books a Million and Fort Lauderdale so the event was a bit delayed and everything was just delayed in general today but on the airplane I did read Grimstone by Sophie Luck but you know what's really interesting so I'm on the airplane it's like a four hour plane ride and I'm on like the window seat because I always put the window seat but the pe the people in the middle on the aisle seat who didn't know each other never knew each other before this flight talked the entire four hours the entire four hours they talked i'm like i would never i would never i would never and i try not to speak too much because i realized that the girl in the middle seat was also australian and i knew that if i talked and said anything wrong she would hear the accent and then pull me into the conversation as well which she still did towards the end because she heard me i asked for water at one point rookie mistake rookie mistake i read grimstone i enjoyed it it's not my favorite of so standalones it's because i mean obviously i read minx earlier this year and minx was such an easy five i would say grimstone's probably like a four out of five instead um in comparison just because grimstone's a lot more insta lusty which is like not really something that i've got a problem with to be quite honest with you but i just I don't know, it just, it just didn't really, like, I didn't really find myself, like, as in love with the characters as I had been for, like, Minx and stuff, and so, for this one, I still enjoyed it, it is, um, why well, don't I only remember their code names? Man, I can't remember, I can't remember their names. Huh. Well, the guy's name is Dane, and her name is Remy, Remy. Um, so we've got Remy and Dane, so Remy and her brother have just moved to Grimstone, which is this, like, gothic s small town that's, like, on a beach. And they're there to fix up this, like, mansion that was left in their, like, great uncle's, like, will once he passed away. And this mansion is on the same property as this guy named Dane, who's a doctor in town that everyone thinks murdered his wife and baby. And so everyone in town hates him. Um, and she ends up, you know, having to make a deal with him because, like, since he owns the property and owns, like, the road and stuff, she needs his permission to, like, do everything. And so... He instantly becomes like obsessed with her and I think that was like the thing for me I think it was it was almost like his obsession with her was like what you would expect from like a serial killer romance but he wasn't a serial killer and I think that's what threw me off to be quite honest and so I think was I was so thrown off by like it it reading like a serial killer romance but not being a serial killer romance the obsession I think that's what like like that's gonna be what messed me a little bit because his obsession and everything with her read very like serial killer obsession-y and not just like alcohol obsession but the guy's not a serial killer so it's like why were you so like and all that kind of stuff so it was like it was good i enjoyed it but like i think that like bordering teetering thing kind of threw me off but it's their romance and there's like creepy shit going on in town and creepy shit going on around remy and she thinks there's like someone maybe stalking her like breaking into the mansion at night and she like can't figure out what's going on and the whole town in general is just like bad vibes which i really loved i loved kind of getting to the entire town and all these people because like just the way that it all is and kind of how it all functions that was really fun um but also 
if this, the, one of the big, um, kinks in this book is, like, piercings and stuff, which, so if you don't like, like, pierce, uh, piercing play is not a thing, okay, that's not a word, but I feel like there's no other way for me to explain it. If you don't like piercing play, you definitely won't like this, because Remy has a shit ton of piercings on her body, um, including a lady bit piercing, which you don't actually see a lot in books, and I was like, oh my god, yes, um, I loved that, I loved reading about lady bit piercings, because you never read about lady bit piercings, and also, the guy, Dane, he is allergic to sunlight, which is like, you know, an actual illness. I actually have a friend who's allergic to the sun. And that was like really nice to see because I feel like you don't see that. And so like, I really enjoyed like the vibes and this whole like creepy Halloween town kind of thing that was going on. It was just like something else just didn't fully work for me when I compare it to everything else I've read from Soph that I've adored in the past. So still a really good book and like great for the spooky season, just not like my fave of hers. Um, so... Yeah, I'd probably say the smut and the insta-lust is a lot higher in this one, too. So, I don't know. One thing I th that always stands out for me, though, in her books is that she always ends... She always does it. She always ends her books. Like, the last paragraph will always be, like, like a life lesson or something to, like, take away from the book. And I always fucking love that. Um, anyway, I need to figure out what I'm reading like on the airplane tomorrow on the way back and I've got like a couple different options I'm just charging my kindle right now between things but I've got The Vixen's Lead by Tate James, Off the Hook by Julie Olivia um what is this? Mantras and Minotaurs by Ashley Bennett because I just got the special edition of that um Morphine by Sam Lin and then Promise by Carly Jane so I'm not sure what I'm going to read I think I actually might be reading The Vixen's Lead by Tate James which is her Kit Davenport series um, or I'll pick up Off the Hook, because that just came out today. But I don't know, so who knows? I can't believe I'm literally in, like, Miami for less than, like, like, in 15 minutes, I will have only been in Miami for 12 hours. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm not even here for 24 hours fully. Like, that's just fucking nuts to me. So nuts. It's 6 30 in the morning. Yes, that's right, 6 30 in the morning. And two things, two things. One, this video is still fucking uploading, okay? It still has 30 minutes left. So it should be done by 7 05 a.m., which is good because I need to leave here by 7 05 a.m. Um, so the second this is done uploading, I'm gonna call my Uber and leave. But I, I also didn't go to bed. <laughs> Look, in my defense, I was going to. I was going to go to bed, I, I swear, I swear. And then out of nowhere, I decided to watch a new K-drama on my phone, because I've got the Vicky app on there, and I started a new one called More Than Friends, because I saw a clip crop up on my, like, reels. And I was sitting there watching it, and then the next thing I knew, my alarm was going off to wake up, and I just kind of sat there, and I was like, oh fuck you know um and then I continue to watch it so I'm really enjoying it it's kind of making me a little bit depressed put me in a little bit of a somber mood but I kind of like the mood that it's put me in on like you know when you watch something that's like a little bit depressing and a little bit just like sad and relatable like you just kind of like it it puts you in a mood that just like I don't know I, I'm enjoying I I'm not feeling like happy and like amazing right now but like the mood that has put me in is very like contemplative and just like in a different state but it's about this girl who in high school like made friends with this guy and then like didn't really think much of it and then eventually found herself like falling for him and he was giving all the signs that like he kind of thought of her as more than a friend and then like he tells her that he's moving to the States and then she tells him that she likes him and he goes, I just think of you as a friend and like breaks her heart. And she kind of continues to pine after him for a couple more years. And then he eventually returns to the US and she still has feelings for him and tells him that and he still says he's just thinks of her as a friend. And so then he leaves again for the States and then it takes place another three years after that. So it's been like 10 years now in total. Um, and they cross paths again and like that same cycle just keeps repeating and it's just a really interesting one and I'm enjoying it despite how like somber and depressing it is. I don't know I've got many many different vibes and feelings and thoughts and I'm excited to see where it goes so. Alright I need to pack up all my stuff here in the hotel room so I can get ready to leave as soon as this video is 
done uploading. So I hope you guys enjoyed that today. Because I went through a lot of effort to get this damn thing posted. Um, I don't know. I really I was trying to download episodes to read to watch on the airplane. But I need Wi-Fi to watch to download the episodes to my phone. I don't want to fuck with my Wi-Fi more than it already is. Because I'm trying to upload this video. So Anyway. Yeah, I'll catch you guys up in a bit. Bye. I am mildly concerned because it is not finished uploading and I need to leave now, but it's got like six minutes left. So I'm just going to wait and just pray, basically. So let's hope I don't fuck these up. I hope you guys really watched that damn video. The, the vlog that I posted today, I hope you guys watched it, okay? <laughs> let's see how this goes. No, my headache's coming back. Um... Hello. October 31st, hashtag Halloween, and it is 5.30 p.m. And if you're wondering, Madison, why haven't you updated us since you left on Friday to head back to Vegas? Two reasons for that. One reason. Love in Vegas. Super long weekend. Um, super just jam-packed and busy. And then I went out on the Sunday night and got hashtag blasted and then didn't wake up until like 3 p.m. on Sunday so I didn't get anything done and then I have a super hungover and then and then you know what ended up happening yesterday I got the flu well okay, I don't really know if I got the flu I'm like 90% sure I have the flu here's my reasoning I died yesterday you're thinking medicine how how did you die if you were here I know it's a miracle the world works miracles sometimes, and even though I am I was deceased last night, I am reborn today. <laughs> I hate myself sometimes. No. So, two things. One, I'm going to be filming a book haul for my love in Vegas. Book haul, just something that would be kind of fun. I haven't had a book haul in a while, and I've got a couple of things that I did get. Spent more money than I was expecting there, but you know, what? that's life. Um, and then... Where was I going with this? Oh, yeah, I died yesterday. So basically I thought that like, I don't know. I thought that maybe it was just me being hungover still. Like, I like so on, like on Sunday I was hungover. So I was like, oh, that's the reason why I have this like massive headache. But then when I woke up yesterday morning, I still had the massive headache. And I was like, this is kind of weird. So I kept taking Advil. But then yesterday all day my body was just in pain like my body felt like I'd run a triathlon over the weekend that I never prepared for and so my body was just aching like I was aching everywhere I went to bed at like 9 p.m because I could not do anything else and then like I woke up in like cold sweats and like everything was hot and cold and hot and cold good thing is that I woke up this morning and I felt a lot better uh, I still feel like shit but I feel a lot better like my, my body doesn't hurt anymore and that's like honestly like while it's shit to have a headache and headaches suck I feel like you know to an extent like you know you've had people get headaches so you know you can kind of live with that but the body aches the body aches were the worst thing like my body felt like it was literally rejecting itself like it was the worst pain my body has been in in a long time that's why I think I have the flu um because I had a similar I've had like a similar illness this time last year and ended up being the flu. Um, anyway, that being said, I didn't read anything on the airplane on the way home on Friday because I fell asleep during it because as you guys know, I stayed up the entire night watching a K-drama. Um, and then yesterday I got my nails done. And when I tell you my nails look fucking amazing, my nails look fucking amazing, guys. Like, do you see these? I don't know if, oh, it's kind of like not the best lighting, but they're like, it's like a super pretty like cloud design with like these sparkles on it. They're like pink sparkles. I posted them to my IG story, so it's a lot better to see them there. Anyway, um, I did read just so when my nails done, A Soul to Keep by Opal Rain or whatever that book is. I'll put it up here. Um, and like I was enjoying it while I was reading it yesterday. It's just, I was also delirious. While getting my nails done yesterday, like, I, I should have known that there was something very, very wrong. Like, I already knew there was something wrong with me yesterday. When I got my nails done, I was like, mmm. The words were going in and out. And I was like, mm, this is not great. So, I was enjoying it. So, I think I'm going to read some more of that today. Basically, I had a half day at work. So, I worked a half day today and then I went to the doctors. And, but, like, the half day, because I'm actually on 
PST, working EST, my half day ended at like 11.30 a.m. So at 11.30 a.m., once I got off work, I literally got back into bed and slept until my doctor's appointment at 1.30. And I'm still pretty tired. And like I've been watching an anime, a new anime series the last couple of days. It's called Reign of the Seven Spellblades. And like I'm enjoying it, but I'm like eight episodes in right now and I'm not really enjoying it as much anymore as like when I first started it. Like it started off pretty cool and now I'm kind of just like, eh. Um, so I might keep going with it, I might switch to something else. Um, I had been watching a couple months back Undead Murder Farce and I was really enjoying that, but I was watching it while the simulcast season was still going on and so it was like one episode a week. Um, so we'll see, but I think I'm actually going to read the book tonight just because I'm kind of in the mood for that and I feel like if I don't read this, I've been trying to read this book for the last like three years. Um, so, well, two years, two, three years, two years, last two years. I've been trying to read Her Soul to Take by Harley LaRue for the last three years. Um, I will get to that eventually, but yeah, that's where I'm currently at. So I think I'm going to read the Opal Rain book because if I don't read it now, I won't. Come say hi to the people. Hi, Bubba. Hi, Bubba. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? What do you want? What are you looking for? Are you here with me? Because you need to go potty. Because if you do, that's why I let you out early and you didn't do shit. Did you? Mm -mm -mm. I know I kind of look like crap, but that's because I feel like shit. And like, I even washed my hair. My hair was nice, but then I literally sweat my entire body last night. In You know, like, from the cold sweats. <clears throat> That I just think it looks like shit again, so whatever, we'll say. Alright, catch you guys up later. Bye! I'm sitting here trying to read and you're just you're just sitting on my lap like a cute little boy. Oh look at you, you're such a good boy. So I'm reading um the Opal Rain book and the issue I'm having with it is that it's written in third person. Uh, Bosco, do not that uh, I put hand cream on. Now he's trying to lick the hand cream off. Bro, that's not how it works. I'm not really vibing with third person. I don't even know the last time was when I read third person. It's throwing me off. What's up? So it is like just past midnight. I just finished uploading my video for tomorrow, which is my eternal embers. Uh, well, it's my be be best romances that I would ever recommend slash my eternal embers video. But I ended up stopping reading whatever the book was that I was reading before. And I'm actually switched to Choosing Theo, which is a book one in the, mm, I can't pronounce this alien species race's name whatsoever. But I started reading this because I wanted something different and I was just not really getting into the other one before. I just think I wasn't in the right headspace for it. So I'm currently 37% into it and I'm really enjoying it. It's, it's still in third person, which I'm, not a huge fan of. I don't, I'm just like, I just don't like third person. I just don't. It's about this girl who ends up getting abducted by aliens from like the human world. And the aliens that abduct her sell her off to someone. And then she ends up escaping from that person who she's supposed to be sold to. And in the process of escaping, she ends up being saved by these other aliens and this alien race, the clinicians, whatever they are. They save her, but she has to stay there for a year before she's allowed to leave as part of like intergalactic law. And the race that she's staying with, basically the way that they work is um, they worship women because there's like, there was like a plague that happened that like killed 70% of the women that existed. And so this alien race needs women. And so women are revered. And they held all the power in the society. And so this human girl has also been given that like, superiority and so she gets to like marry a guy for three months because like marriage isn't like an official thing it's basically like dating a guy for three months and she basically she ends up picking this guy that she wants to marry and this guy is like the guy that everyone else thinks is super ugly because of his scars but she thinks that he's super hot um but he is like really wary of her because he's like no one's ever thought i was attracted before so she must be like a spy <laughs> And it's just, it's really funny, so I'm enjoying it. I'm like 37% in, oh, oh yeah, oh, this lighting is awful. There's one light, see, it's like right there. Um, and so, yeah, but um, that's my current thought. I'm also sick, so this is what we get. This is the best. Um, I'm going to look back at this clip and be like, I look like fresh death. I also really need to get my hair cut because this is not working for me. All right, I'll catch you guys up. I'm probably gonna go to bed now, but just wanted to give you an update and the fact that I'm enjoying this book and I think it's hilarious, so.
Hello, it is currently Saturday afternoon, evening, evening, because it's like five o'clock. Starting a brand new book a look right about now. So, what is the dog doing? Um, I finished choosing Theo today and I really enjoyed it. Um, it was written in third person, which I didn't love. So, I think I'm going to give it like a four. Four and a half stars. Even though it was aliens, they weren't like alieny aliens. So it was like a lot more palatable to read than I think some of the other alien stuff I'd read. So it read a little less like monster and more like shiftery, if that makes sense. Because I feel like when you read shifter romances, you still know they're like human esque. And when you read like monster romances, you're like, these are fucking monsters. And but so this says like an alien romance because like the alien race, the clinicians or how whatever you how you pronounce that, because they were so similar to how humans are, it was like easier to wrap my head around and like cooler to read. And so they were kind of just like enhanced superhumans. No, I love choosing Theo. It was so much fun and like her being like a human and like falling in love with this guy that like thinks that he's like ugly but if she's like no you're hot and he's like well by my like alien standards I'm not and she's like well by my human standards you are hearty <laughs> I was like I was living for that it was so good and so funny and it was just a really good time so I really enjoyed it so I'll probably I'll probably give it like a four and a half stars to be quite honest with you just because it was a really nice way to kind of get out of my like funk that I've been in because like I'm definitely my hair needs to be cut so bad I'm like <sighs> I'm having a lot of issues lately um but yeah I, I really did enjoy it otherwise so that was good so I definitely recommend that if you're looking for an alien romance um I'm feeling a lot better I'm still feeling a little bit sick but better for sure I was gonna start writing again today but I'm just so exhausted and my brain power really isn't there that I I'm just going to wait until I'm feeling better. So I decided to pick up another alien romance and I'm reading Captive by the Horde King by Zoe Draven. So this one is set in a world where the humans know about aliens and they live on alien planets and stuff. And this girl ends up offering up her life to save her brother to become like the captive of one of the Horde Kings. And the Horde Kings, like, these people they're called like the Drakari, the, the Dakari, Dakari. Um, and they are like they look human esque, but they're like double the height of humans. Um, and they've got like flowing black hair, and they have six fingers on each hand and six toes on each foot. Um, and they have tails and golden markings, but up and like claws, but otherwise they look human. And they have yellow eyes. So it's kind of like if you took like a human and crossed it with a sphinx and turned it like, yeah. That's like kind of what I'm imagining here. So I'm reading this. I'm like 10% into it. And it's actually really cool. It's just in her perspective. So her first person perspective, which is fine. I did like that about choosing Theo was that at least we got both POVs. So we got Theo and... What the hell is the girl's name? Jade or something like that? I think we got both of their POVs. So I still want to continue with that series. Um, but the third person -ness just isn't 100% what I'm used to. So I wanted to just something that was still in first person. Because I thought that it would be easy for me to read. Which it has been. Um, so I'm going to keep reading this. I think I'm going to end this vlog tomorrow. I don't know why this vlog stayed on for so long. But it did. Um, so depending on where I'm at tonight and how things keep going. I'll update you guys tomorrow. And yeah. That's my update. Oh my god, I just said like deja vu because I went to go look at the um the clock that's in the microwave and it was like 6.40 p.m. and I was like, when did it become 6.40 p.m.? Because it's daylight savings day, so every other clock says 5.40 p.m. Um, so I was just, I got very confused for a second there. I was like, oh my god, where'd the last hour go? I was like, what happened just then? Um, anyway, basically, um... Had a bit of a busy day today, but I did, I'm like around about 60% into Captive by the Horde King by Zoe Draven. And I'm enjoying it a lot, but it's reading a lot differently than I expected it to. I think I was going into it thinking it was going to be more like an alien romance. And it's reading more just like 
I don't know, like like a fantasy sci-fi romance, to be quite honest with you, because unlike the other alien romances, like this girl grew up on a planet knowing that the aliens existed and like what the aliens are like. And the aliens and like this whole romance with like this girl is like, it kind of reminded me a bit of um, like Khaleesi and Draco or whatever the guy's name is from Game of Thrones. It's giving like that sort of a vibe so if you liked that vibe from game of thrones definitely check out this series because the the dothraki are very much like the the alien race that exists the the, the also also starts with a d name it's like drakaki or something like that i don't know but it's very similar and like has a lot of similar tones to it and so this book here is a lot more like sexy than Choosing Theo was. Choosing Theo was a lot more of a th slow burn, whereas Captured by the Horde King has a bit more of like sexual content with it and the sexual like captive aspect of it. So it kind of just depends on like what you're looking for and what you're most comfortable with basically. I'm enjoying, I enjoyed both of them and I'm still enjoying Captured by the Horde King, but it, it's different than what I was expecting going into it reading. So while I'm enjoying it, I kind of wanted a bit more of like an alien romance than this one is because even though, yeah, it's just hard to explain, but I am enjoying it and I'm really liking our main character, Luna. She's really cool and I'm enjoying seeing her like progression and her like, cause she's like supposed to be now like the queen of this like horde and she's like growing into that and like her whole like experience there is like a massive thing. So my mom just texted me. That's it, I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm liking many of these alien romances. If you have any alien romance recommendations, other than I Spun Up Barbarians, which I have started before, so <laughs> other than the ones that I started reading here and I Spun Up Barbarians, if you have any other alien romance recommendations, please leave them in the comments down below because I'm looking for more and I'm curious about more ones and I don't really have that many to go off of other than like the ones that I'm currently reading. They're like the only ones that I've ever heard before that people have recommended. So if you've got other ones, I would love to hear them so that I can like expand my own repertoire and then eventually I will do an alien romance recommendation video because I feel like there aren't actually as many out there as there should be. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was a bit of a different one with like me on tour with Anna at the beginning and then kind of just like being sick and then reading in the back half. <laughs> but don't forget that you can also read my debut romance right now, Good Game, which is on Kindle Unlimited. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button down below if you want to see more of me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and until next time, thanks so much everyone. Bye! -bye.